back everyone to another episode of your daily dose back again spoiler alert on one of my whale accounts of course pirate emperor it is a cool game i'm thoroughly enjoying playing this i still am playing of course everything else on the channel if you are coming across from dop if you're wondering why you keep seeing all of these pirate emperor videos pop up just trying something new while we're waiting for the next arcane heroes to appear so we can summon and build those so make sure you hit that like subscribe notification button if you want to stay up to date on both games of course on the channel now today i was asked previously uh in a comments to i feel like to go through the this <laughs> what can i say um most players are probably a little bit intuitive the game will you know it'll tell you what to do you'll start out with the 300 caliber cannon and essentially you'll go all the way to the ice age now the thing you gotta remember though and this is maybe just a, a little bit of a um like a developmental thing uh I, in my opinion, because it leads players immediately, like everyone just sticks to the Ice Age. Uh, and that's because that's the last one you unlock. So most players will go, oh, you know, it doesn't really do anything. We'll just use this and we'll just level it up, etc., etc. So what I thought today is we could go through all of these ones, maybe talk a little bit about where it could fit within your team dynamics. Um, and then we can talk about the upgrading because I, I feel like you could probably see I've, I've got quite a few of my resources saved up for this video specifically. Um, and if you stick around to the end, you'll be in for a, a little bit of a treat. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but make sure you stick around to the end. And I'll know if you do, because in the comment section, um, I'm sure I'll get some um, some questions about that. And I do have some questions too that I'd like some feedback on it. In concerning like the the I guess the quality of everything and stuff like that but anyway sticking to the main topic 300 caliber cannon the abilities they scale up as you rank them up so the generic idea is you level them up and then once you get to a certain level you'll be up able to upgrade the skills and then you'll be able to upgrade the mastery of the skills and then there's a couple of additional other tabs that we'll talk about in another section of the video. But essentially, you are getting this 300 caliber cannon. All heroes get a attack plus 10% bonus at level 4 or skill level 4. At skill level 8, all heroes have a hit percent chance. And at skill level 12, all heroes have a speed plus 40. So... I feel like it would be a bad video if I didn't actually demonstrate some of these things. So we are going to go into uh, the main story. And oh, actually, that won't work because we won't get there. <laughs> We're going to have to go into Arena. Let's go into Arena. Um, I don't think I need to set up Arena Defense with that. So we're going to go into Arena. We're going to do some fights here. We're going to not hit the skip button. Um, let's go ahead and fight this one. Now... It should, it should have the, th yeah, it should have the caliber cannon. Okay, so as you can see on the left hand side, uh, there is a little blue bar and essentially every time your hero does an action, that little blue bar fills up and when it gets to the tippy top, then your character will unleash their god skill. So we're going to check out caliber cannon. Now, one thing to take note of is... Some of these skills have a high crit chance, and I believe Caliber Cannon does have a high crit chance. Um, it also does additional layers of, uh, I guess, some buff skill, some skills buff, some skills bleed, some skills heal. So this is where it sort of falls within to how does this work for you. There we go. Caliber Cannon is up. Does crit damage. Not a lot of damage, as you could probably tell, because, well, realistically, why would it? It is the lowest form it could be. But that's essentially what it does. So real damage is kind of an important aspect to think about if you are realistically going to discuss what this does. So unfortunately, and I, I feel like they probably should have this a little bit more uh, exp self-explanatory would be the word, but it doesn't seem to have that. Uh, let me go into it again. 
So where why 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 game? Why game why game why game? Why would you not explain all the skills a little bit better? I feel like there's gotta be a tab here that actually describes what they do. It, it there isn't though, is there? I feel like there's not. <sighs> Absolutely disgraceful. No, information tab is not going to do it. Raikage Master zero zero skill set. All right. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. I'm like, there's got to be a tab here that actually tells us what it does. There we go. I apologize, game. So, for this one, the skill is true damage to two enemies or random enemies. Um, and, of course, as you scale up, this, of course, does more damage. We'll get into that. 30% chance to reduce target's attack by 10% for two rounds. Now, True damage, we should probably talk a little bit about that because it's important. So true damage essentially means that there is no mitigating factor besides shields that will prevent you from doing actual damage uh, to the character. So defense doesn't really take into, like defense mitigation doesn't really take into consideration. Um, debuffs, uh, buff abilities, all of that sort of stuff. Essentially, true damage bypasses any of that, mitigates it all, and just does exactly what the skill damage is supposed to do. And that's fine. You're not really going to be using these skills for damage, but it is kind of important to note in other games, uh, when you see true damage, it literally means that there is no defensive ability that can prevent it from um, doing its full capability against your team, except for a shield. And that, you know, I mean, that's it is what it is, right? Um, however... 30% chance to reduce target's attack. Now, as you could probably tell, once you unlock skill level 4, all heroes get a 10% damage, sorry, a 10% defense ability. Um, at level 8, they get damage reduction, and at level 12, their speed is increased by 40. So, again, pretty interesting. Let's check it out. I want to see what it looks like, and I probably will circle back to, if I remember how to do this, I'll probably circle back to another video. Uh, no, we won't do it. We'll do it in the same video um, of the other ones as well. Oh, geez. Always get the skip button. It's like automatically goes to skip now. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. <sighs> but you're going to probably see noticeably that the Ice Age is what everyone equips. And sometimes I have to say, is it the best decision? Is it realistically the best choice for your team? What does it really give that all of the other ones don't give? So, now remember, this is an attack debuff. So, you are essentially causing the enemy team that gets hit by this god skill to have their attacks reduced by 10%. And I believe, like most things, it's always going to be a 30% chance. However... It's, it's a one in three, right? Roll the dice, maybe you get lucky. I wonder if there's little symbols. So I'm sure there's symbols for it. It's just really hard to see on the, on the screen. I don't actually think I can see. Mm, I think so. I think it might be the, the orb. No. Is it? Maybe? Maybe the red orb at the back? Man, it's so hard to see. I wish I had this on Bluestacks. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but uh, my computer <laughs> won't handle that one. Um, I think it's the red orb that is the, t the attack debuff for that skill. He'll probably go again one more time. So with a little bit of luck at the end of this round. No, we're probably going to kill him. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. Another interesting thing to note is that the game doesn't actually show... In a lot of regards, it doesn't actually show the combination damage or the god skill damage, which uh, I think if we're going to add a little bit of feedback, that's important because you kind of want to see just how much additional damage that this skill does or additional healing just for those that like to play test. Um, in terms of that, not a bad thing. This one, I feel like is underrated, uh, Ace's ability. And I will say this though. Once you get this to skill level 8, I would imagine the ability to heal plus a Crubbly plus 10% is going to come a little bit more... It, it's it's going to be... It's going to make your healer's job a lot easier. Now, I'm just going to say that. Your support will thank you if you do run the Great Flame Commandment. In terms of the skill ability, 
two damage against two random allies, heals two random allies by 5%. So are they big heals? I imagine as you scale this up, the heals and the capacity of that probably will be. I feel like it's not 5% of, uh, it's, it can be a little bit confusing. So it could be 5% of the allies HP. It could be 5% of the attacks ability. Um, so it's a little bit hard to tell. I would like to test these things out. Let me know if you know the answer to that in the comment section down below. Healing Emperor Flame could potentially be a little bit of a game changer. I um I don't know. I actually used it for a very, very long time for the PvP uh, scenarios, mainly because those additional heals are a little bit more... They're guaranteed, I want to say. Like, there's no chance for them not to heal, whereas the other ones have a proc percent chance in order to do their additional ability. As you saw, it's a 30% chance for a damage or attack decrease from the Rakage one. Uh, and we'll check out a couple of the other ones as well. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the 300 cannon is a guaranteed bleed on two targets. So there is that as well. But like I said, this could be the, this could be the secret weapon. This could be the secret weapon for those that are looking for a little bit more sustain and aren't worried about um, potentially putting a debuff on the enemy team. Sometimes it's all you need to get through certain areas in PvE as well. So, <laughs> I don't know if you've all come across those really disgusting impel down levels where you just wish that you had that little bit more sustain and the ghosts aren't cutting it. Potentially, potentially uh, Ace over here might be the one for you. Alright, so I think he's going to go after this one. Flame Commandment. Okay, so that was, I mean, I can't really pause that video, but it looked like it was 300,000 that he healed. It was either 32,000 or 300,000. It was actually a pretty big number. So it might be 5% of the uh, hero's HP pool, which, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Maybe for those that are sharp and uh, know how to go and pause the video halfway through there, maybe just pause and have a look at those numbers and let me know in the comment section down below. How much did he actually get healed? Um, another interesting fact too is if you are running healers that buff the uh, healing percentage of all incoming heals, that would theoretically also impact the 5% uh, increase of the Flame Commandment. Let's have a look again. So 30,000. It's healing 30,000 HP. Not bad. Um, not bad. It's, it's enough to keep you alive. <laughs> it is enough to keep you alive. It's a nice little top up. It's not like 3,000. I'll give you that. And this skill, by the way, hasn't been leveled up at all. So maybe there is some wiggle room for the potential. Um, I, I like it. I like it. I regret not. You know, I regret not using it, because as I could probably, or as you've probably read through some of these skills, if you had the chance, a lot of them uh, they don't really do anything um, noticeable. Now, of course, I went with old mate Black World, uh, older, older, <laughs> old Mister Gat Tooth Man. <laughs> I shouldn't disrespect him. I mean, he may maybe one day he'll be king of the pirates. Who knows? Um, but he, to me, intrigued me for his skill ability. I remember reading it. Um, I, I like the, the, so I, I guess in the grand scheme of things, if you look, look at it from what statistics offset other statistics, true damage. Yeah, we get that. It does that plus do all the additional things. So, you know, it, it does a fair amount of damage, um, 38% chance to reduce targets hit by 9% for two rounds. So that essentially is counteracting accuracy. So the enemy team, I mean, for two two random heroes on the, on the enemy team, I should probably stipulate this. I don't want to make this sound really overpowered, um, but two random enemies basically get a, a pretty solid chance at a debuff without, uh, how do I say this? How do I word this? So, I think to explain a little bit better, we should probably go into the heroes here. So, 
nine percent on where are you where are you let me have a look sees where's my accuracy my accuracy is at a hundred percent so you essentially have a, a scalable ability to reduce their accuracy by nine percent now i think accuracy is a hundred percent for all heroes if i'm not mistaken let me have a look i could be wrong though accuracy is a hundred percent for all heroes i feel like there's probably a lot of other things that mitigate accuracy, but in my opinion, it's not a bad thing. If you, well, I mean, is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? I'm a conflicted now. The more that I think about it, the more that I think about it, maybe I just picked him because he looked cool. No, there was a, there was a, there was a rhyme to my reason. <laughs> But accuracy debuffs is legitimate. I often play strategy guides like that in other games by essentially making it nigh impossible for the enemy team to hit you. But the reality is that you kind of need to level this guy up a little bit further. And the reason being is all heroes get an additional plus 10% dodge chance. So if you factor in the dodge chance with the accuracy, potentially that means they're missing 19%. Right? Is it 19%? I believe it's 19% for two rounds. So it's a guaranteed 10% dodge chance, right? So at the moment, their accuracy is currently at 80, or should I say 90. And then we get when they get hit with this, uh, uh, well, I guess this debuff, this random debuff to two allies. Wow, it's sounding more sketchy as I go along. But then they go down to 81%. So at 81%, maybe they miss me. Maybe they miss me a lot. Who knows? I feel like this build right here with uh, Karakuru would be a redonkulous team setup. And this is just me theory crafting. Um, and I am sidetracking. I don't apologize at all. I enjoy these types of videos. So if you do also make sure you hit that like, subscribe and notification button. But Karakuru has this ability to increase his dodge for every Moochie. That he has and every observation hockey i oh, sorry uh delay damage and luchi he launches ultimate observation self up five percent per layer of sticky muchi or delayed damage up to 32 percent so you could imagine that naturally he's going to have a really high level of stacking for this guy and if you combine that with um you know potentially combine that with this that means that he automatically has a 10 percent dodge chance on top of that so we're at 42% chance. And then if the enemy target has the debuff on them, then that's legitimately a 50% debuff to their ability to hit Old Mate Karakuru. And I have to say, I've seen him dodge like an absolute beast when I fought him. So maybe that's something for those that are into the theory crafting, team building type of thing, if that might be something to work towards. Also here, uh, the last skill, I don't, I can't remember if this is generic for all of them. Um, I think all hero plus 40 speed is pretty OP, definitely worthwhile investing in. Just makes you go before the enemy team, regardless of their power level. So again, very, very interesting. All right. Last but not least, oh, actually, you know what? I'd be remiss not to show, remiss not to show you guys what he looks like. Let's go over here. I do use him. Uh, like I said, I use him because yeah i like the whole dodge aspect of things in the game but anyway <laughs> i'm weird like that let me know in the comment section down below what you picked and why we're coming up to the last one and if you stuck around thus far i'd be interested to know did you actually read into these skills and abilities and were you you know were you excited about any i know that's a weird question to ask but were you like oh yeah this stood out this would be great for my team and i'd be interested to know why too I feel like the healing one potentially is a little bit better. Old Mate Ace's ability. But that, again, again, does it fit within your team composition? All right, going into this one, hopefully he will uh, do his attack now. Waiting for him, waiting, forever waiting. <laughs> oh, for those that are wondering on the free to play account, uh, we of course are in day number two. We have built Kuma. Um, which is the tank that we're currently fighting on the enemy team in slot one. Uh, definitely an S tier hero. 
very very annoying because of his uh mitigation not his counter attack ironically that's just annoying but um his mitigation yeah he is very very tanky <laughs> but there you go so we managed to hit them in the back row there um pretty stock standard i think we can skip ahead um we actually lost that one which is not surprising so let's jump into the next one for this and we're gonna go to god tier and last but not least we have ice age so from an offensive perspective 10% crit chance 20% crit damage is exceptionally appealing i'm not going to say that that's a bad thing but i'm also not going to say that that always translates into more damage if you're building a crit team with fuji fuji o old mate mr guy with the walking cane where is he the marine grand daddy himself it makes sense to run ice age specifically for this man alone um yes there are a lot of other heroes that benefit for crit but this guy is a crit daddy monster yeah, an absolute monster if you don't believe me check out all of his comments down here the beast super crit daddy doom erased holy mother of crit the ghost the crit king i think you get the message so if you were to run fujiro and build a team around crit i would recommend that he well you know ice age would be the would be definitely be the skill for you now obviously crit damage is going to take a little while for you to acquire but that extra 20 percent is pretty decent and i'm not going to say not to go down that path if we have a look at the statistics uh most heroes already have fairly high crit um well not crit crit not crit rate but crit damage so i mean is it realistically going to give you a lot I feel like the crit formula is um, base damage times 1.5. Most games have a base damage times 1.5 for their crit calculator or their formula. It could be two times base, base damage. I don't know. I don't feel like there's many test servers, which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look at it like that, oh, there we go. Old mate's uh, door dash. Thank you so much for your impromptu notification. Um, <laughs> maybe they should sponsor me or jokes aside but in saying that uh if you're you know your crit rate is low the crit damage is really not going to give you that much of a bonus that's why it's a little bit of a long shot it could translate into additional damage i'm not going to say that that's a bad thing but just be aware that it really would only be for very specific teams if you are looking to go down that pathway this, however, is a very interesting uh, ability because it ignores control resistance. True damage plus 10%. Well, no, it's not plus. 10% chance to inflict sluggish on uh, up to two targets for two rounds. And I feel like for those that don't know what sluggish is, I think that we can go to old mate B because he has sluggish. Yes, he does. Unit with the effect cannot move for one round. So, by the way, I'm just reading the, the bottom skill ability. So, 10% chance to inflict sluggish. I imagine that that will probably go up to around 20%, maybe 30% when you fully max that out. That's pretty powerful, not going to lie. Like, 30% chance to inflict sluggish on two characters. That's cool. Even at 20%, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. I feel like... Again, most players are just going to stick with that and not realistically read what it does. Where is that? Get me back to my tricks. I want to go to formation. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, eh, I use that on my Fujiro team. I only do it for the crit. Um, let's go and fight this guy again. Let's see if this the tables have turned with sluggish. <laughs> I highly doubt it. But in saying that, I feel like everybody already knows what this animation is. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It really is nice when you see the sluggish land. Sometimes it comes in clutch, but at 10%, is it really worthwhile guaranteeing it? No, absolutely not. In PvE, I mean, I don't really feel it has much versatility in PvE. 
uh, play versus environment, by the way, that's what PV stands for. The only reason being is at that level, in most instances, <laughs> them skipping one round is not really going to make or break your team. Um, PVP, yes. Skipping one round of like a top DPS, like if it randomly drops on them, that absolutely can, uh, <laughs> that can definitely alter you in terms of being able to come through with the clutch. However, is it a guaranteed? Unfortunately, it's not. All right, so we should be able to see a back-to-back -back of both of their skill abilities. Let's have a look. Ice Age. Boom. Did we get a sluggish off? Uh, we did not. Did they get a sluggish off? They did not. Okay, so there you could see both of the enemy team. Wow, well, I feel like that's that's like glitching out. Can everybody see that? <laughs> Go back behind him. Go back behind him. You're freaking me out now. Well, PB's doing the hacks. Um, but like I said, the chances of it are pretty slim to none. Probably just skip ahead. So realistically speaking, no go for that one. So as we've obviously gone through all of the process, now it's talking a little bit about upgrading it. So you'll need these artistry stones in order to uh, essentially rank your god tier ability up the sources you can get them from the expedition shop or the tier shop so i really really wouldn't spend it on that i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i mean i feel like these ones come far too quickly from here make sure once you unlock your expedition you push it every single day because you'll get these selection chests sometimes you roll really bad and i was lazy and kind of didn't do it properly but i strongly would recommend trying to do this properly uh you will get quite a lot of the artistry stuff there and i mean it is it is it's it, it's very expensive it takes a lot um I think it was capped out for me for a very long time at level 30, like 34 requirements, but it does seem to go up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spend them here. Um, wow. It might be quicker if I just tap the damn button. But as you can probably sell, there are plus HP plus attack. And that just adds to the overall team ability, like the, the skill ability. This is over here. So every time you level it up, it goes directly into the damage, the true damage here, which is fine. Um, skills, if you want to upgrade your skills, you need a different set of stones, which are these ones, the artistry stones. These ones, of course, are a little bit harder to get. I will say you do get quite a lot from here, but another place that I seem to acquire a lot of artistry stones is actually from here. So... I know it sucks, right? You you, you kind of go, ah, I rolled the dice and here we go. But that's another place that you can grab the artistry stones. I don't think they're in a store, but let's go and have a look real quickly. I don't think they are. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, so you can actually buy artistry stones here if you're a little bit short. Now, the truth of the matter is if you were to like consider buying anything from this shop, I would personally say buying these per week is great value. <laughs> get the 50 fruit trust me you need a bucket load of the damn ghost fruit um but as for the artistry stones maybe if you're a little bit short for the next skill up level it might not be worth uh well it might not be a terrible investment um but just keep in mind that there are better things to save up for particularly if you're going to build daddy garp or any of the other heroes now in terms of arena is there anything there no didn't think so didn't think you could buy anything there certainly can't get there Tier rewards, nope, you cannot, um, obviously not for skills and no for skins, but interesting. All right, so moving on, I feel like we can go ahead and level that one up. So it costs 60 to go there and it's actually 1.6 million. Now, what can we actually get? Upgrade that to plus six. So star changing skills plus six, which means that, oh, we're still a little bit short. We need to get them to level eight. Yeah, we need to get skill level eight. <laughs> it's going to take a while. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, chip away at it. And make sure you do that. God skill level up continues at level 14. So the corresponding skills in order to, I guess, go and contribute towards the skill level means you actually need to up, level, up the God skill level as well. Uh, it's very, very confusing. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there's a lot of things going on here. However, let's go into the mastery tab. 
So Mastery Tab just adds additional bonuses. Now, to get these little icons or these little items, um, you kind of need to go over to the Expedition Shop. There we go. So you can actually buy a lot of these. You can buy 50K a week, cost you 5K. Is it worth it? Probably not, but we just did it for the sake of the video. Let's go another Mastery Level, Mastery Level 21. Get an additional layer of skill damage. Now, the other thing that we probably need to talk about is the Haki or Hakai upgrades. These little baubles are very hard to get. <laughs> you actually get them with the top up ability. So you get three of these if you top up and you get one. So they are more, I feel like, inclined for the spenders, but I'm sure that they may be, well, I'm not going to say I'm sure because I don't know at this point. They could potentially be in the cross server shops. Hmm, let's go back to that. Let's have a look in here. Champion shop. No, there's nothing there. Interesting, interesting. None there. Let's have a look to see if they're in here. They are not. Hmm, interesting. All right, we're going to grab the rest of the shards though. Make sure you buy shards, by the way. <laughs> For those that are curious, that is actually pretty important to grab those shards. Um, there are like weekly limits as well, and you need them to level up your outfits. So yes, I would recommend buying those shards if you can. Now, is there, are they in this shop though? Mm, tier shop? No, they're not. All right, I don't think you can get this outside of spending, uh, which is interesting. They might unlock that later on in the game, or I could potentially have just missed it because I'm a noob. Um, however, it does add plus quite a lot. Obviously, you can see it's HP and attack. So let's go ahead. Uh, oh, from top up event. That's what it literally says from top up event. So there you go. We managed to do that. Vessel gained uh, use attempts maximum. Okay. So we managed to upgrade those. It just adds, I believe, to the base statistics. It could, of course, add to your overall team buffs. Are you going to get a lot of power from using these types of things? Not necessarily, but in terms of unlocking them and leveling up, it's kind of mandatory, so do it. Uh, I wouldn't say... You, you can do it, and then if you make a mistake, you can always do this next. <laughs> you can do it, and then if you make a mistake, you can always do this. After the Steel God Silver return to its initial state, return rural resources except berries. So if you make a boo-boo, if you want to maybe go, well, I don't know, after seeing your video, I feel like maybe Old Mate Ice Hockey wasn't that great of a decision. Maybe I want to go and play the healer class with Old Mate Ace. Or potentially if you were like, oh, okay, Rubber Man is not the one for me. I didn't know that I could swap. Then you probably will be able to use the distill button. As for the convert button, this one here, it seems to be very much locked Uh yeah i would love to unlock all of these things but at the same time you need to be at the you need to reach king rank <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna reach king rank anytime soon um i like the fact that they tie things in i'm not gonna lie i'd love to test that out like obviously um how, how far am i from king's rank though oh i'd say i'm, I'm pretty far where's the ranking about tier lists Where's King tier? Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So it's Diamond tier, so it's Platinum, then it's Diamond, then it's Crystal, Crystal Lord. King tier, Immortal King. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Well, I am not that ambitious, unfortunately. I will be, though, on my other account. <laughs> and maybe that uh, then we'll be able to unlock the next one. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be... Uh, yeah doesn't seem to be available at this stage so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below which one did you pick and the reasons why are you going to reset and maybe do a little bit of a shuffle now i did say that i would uh talk a little bit about where is he where is he where is he <sighs> go back to the skill so his skill ability deals true damage to two random enemies 30 percent chance to inflict a bleed uh, up to two rounds, drains 58 HP per round. Now, as you level that up, obviously the damage is going to increase as well as the bleed effect. Um, so yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, look, all plus, all heroes attack 10%, all heroes hit up rate by 10%. 
can't really go wrong with that. I mean, if, if you were going to pick a neutral one, this would be as neutral as it gets. Um, obviously, the added effect of bleed, if you're ever going to build a bleed team, that could also be interesting uh, to test that one out. All right. So now we've done all of the nitty gritty. What we're going to do next is potentially build our first 11 star. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. So I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, I probably need to get a nine star food hero before I can do it. Um, the obvious one is going to be Lucy. So I feel like, uh, how close are we to getting Lucy up there? How close are we? We have one copy of Lucy as food. I think we need one additional copy of Lucy. Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yep. So I've got you there. So I actually need two copies. Okay. That could, I mean, it's, it's doable. <laughs> it's doable. Let's see if we can actually pull this off. So I think I have a couple of shards in the bag. So he's a Marine. We're going to pull these ones out. We might need to build a little bit. Uh, we'll pull these ones out. Maybe we get a couple of Marines. Did I get any Marines? I got zero Marines. Oh, that's a laugh. That's, that's tough. Let's do five. Oh, yes, we got a Marine. All right. So we should be able to do this then. We should be able to do this. Um, whew, all, all, I mean, just let me think about this. How close am I? Um, is six going to be enough? Let's, let's see. Just in case, just in case we get really unlucky with our pulls. <laughs> okay, confirm 99.91. Did I buy my one for the day? I probably did. No, it's fine. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the VIP over here. I'm going to buy this package out for 688. That's going to give me five additional ones. Now, I could, of course, just pull the Marine out of here, but uh, I'd like to see if it's an option for me to be able to build it without using that uh, selection chest to save some of those food type heroes for later. Obviously, um, we, yeah, well, there is a Marine in there, but there's Ace as well. You know, there's some cool, there's some cool heroes in there. I don't want to just throw it away for that. Uh, but in saying that, in saying that, how close are we to being able to build one? Oh, snap. All right. Okay. So we got the guaranteed. Love that. Oof, we're so close of not having enough of those four stars. So let's go ahead and build you. So we're going to go you, you, and you. You're going to be our nine star. Love that. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. So that means we have a choice to make. Do we go with Queen Otohime? Do we go with... No, that's, that would be a joke if I said Usopp. <laughs> Definitely not Luffy. We could go Blackbeard because he's still, he's still keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? He's still keeping it real with the AoE and his speed abilities. I quite like him. Um, or do we go with Shanks? Hmm. I feel like if I go with Shanks, I'm going to need to upgrade a couple of other areas and aspects of this character. Uh, let's have a look if we can even do it though. That's going to be the real question. Oh, actually. Oh, there we go. Got some, got some gear. Would you look at that? Um, can't do the 10 star, unfortunately. <laughs> can't do the 10 star cause I don't need a 10 star. Um, We've got eight of those. That gives us 90. Ooh. 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 So that actually gives me enough to buy two Shanks copies. All right. I think it's going to be Shanks. Is she in the shop though? Because I do have a random copy of her. She's not. Hmm. All right. Let's just do some, let's just do some pulls. What do I need in terms of food though? Let's be smart about this because... Obviously, I can build Lucy. I probably could grab some food for um, Blackbeard, potentially to 9-star. Or I could 10-star Blackbeard uh, down the track. That might not be a terrible idea. What are, we, what are we here with you? I got Big. One, two, three. That's a 9-star Big. Um, Bellamy, obviously. What about here? Could try and pull for some more Yamato and build her. 
Um, that wouldn't be a terrible idea either. I mean, in terms of food, I feel like I might have just a little bit more food with the straw hats. <sighs> I got straw hat food. I have champ food. Hmm. I mean, when in doubt, let's have a look at the statistics. So this is really bad. This is like pulling for light and dark on idle heroes. Probably not recommending doing this. Drop chances of getting like a five star. I feel like you probably get one every 15 guaranteed, I would say, unless your RNG is really, really bad. Um, but I feel like you can get at least two every 10 to 15 of the other factions. So yeah, I think we can just go with you. Well, should we just go with, uh, yeah, we'll go here. We'll get some food. Worst case scenario, we get some five stars. There we go. We got a Frankie. Um, at least I can build a nine star food out of this guy. Three more to go. One and then boom. Oh, there we go. So we got two and 10. It's pretty good RNG. Not going to lie. Like, um, two food, two food copies. Not bad, not bad. Obviously, we have this, but I'm going to save that up for uh, an Emperor or Marine. Um, privilege Shop. Let's go over here. Shanks. Granddaddy Shanks. We're going to grab two copies of you. Pull you out of the bag. Woo! Excitement. I'm excited. Who's excited? I am excited. I hope I didn't mess this up. I hope I didn't mess this up. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I didn't. So, for anyone that's curious, you actually have to build a six star. Oh, but I, I figured I had enough food. <laughs> like, I wasn't too worried about that one. So, we're going to go one, two, and throw in a big. Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't we, why don't we just, why don't we play it smart? Why don't we play it smart? So, I only need three of you and I, three of you. Let's go ahead and make you. And, um, yeah, we'll just throw those in, throw those in instead of using some of the other heroes that could be a five star. Let's not be wasteful, um, throw in the food type heroes, then boom, you get yourself a shanks, daddy shanks and oof, drum roll. So we're currently at 1.68. I feel like we'll probably go up to like 1.72 maybe 50 million battle power might be enough i don't know where are you devil fruit tree oh it's in the devil fruit tree uh yeah i don't want you in the devil fruit tree come here come here you are now food <laughs> so it's actually 15k oh i thought it was 10k all right interesting enough of these refinements we're going to go up to there attack hp growth up uh, from 20% to 30%, unlock new Haki slot. Let's do it. Boom. Yeah, it's what we like to see. That was actually a decent statistic uh, added. I, I quite like that. Um, so I went with physical attack. I feel like that's a little bit of a must for this guy. Uh, I don't know what else I would think of in terms of what I'd like. I feel like uh, basic shock isn't terrible. When damage sees 30% of target's HP, 20% chance to stun lock them. Again, not terrible. Um, physical damage attack, not bad. When killing target with physical attack, 60% launch normal. When you crit, 40% chance. Uh, crit damage at start of battle, physical damage up by 2 20 Well, yeah. Not bad. Crit rate, magic attack. No, we're not going to do that. He's not a magic user. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, crit damage plus 10% wouldn't be terrible, right? What's his crit rate now? Let's have a look. Let's check out his statistics. Um, you got 24% crit chance. I mean, even the extra 5% crit chance wouldn't be bad on this guy. Hmm. But when in doubt, you would just go crit damage, right? Yes. Yes. Or do I reset Blackbeard? Do I reset Blackbeard and go with the Ice Guy for the extra 10% crit, meaning that then we get 35% chance to crit? Hmm. Hmm, interesting. I like it. Let us go and see if we can actually find this guy in the skill shop. What's he called again? Sorry. 
I'm going to go back and forth a little bit just so I don't get the one. All right, so there's Basic Fury. And yeah, okay, let's look for Basic Fury. So, Crit Shop, Haki, Refresh. Uh, I'm going to try and get some of those physical attack things too. Well, I'm looking for Basic Fury. Um, I will grab you. So, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, I don't, honestly don't think I can upgrade his thing to 10 star just yet where is the heals down speed down echo magic slush bravery room fury room crit damage there we go all right all right all right let's uh scroll through and see if we can get anything else follow up ruin armor maybe if i get another physical rune, that could be interesting be close come on give me a physical give me a sword I said, give me a sword. How many of these do I have? Mm. All right, I'm wasting it this stage. <laughs> Let's not keep wasting it. Um, uh, recommended, where's my dude? Where, where is he? There we go. All right, we're going to go 5% extra crit. Um, honestly, didn't get anything, but yeah, crit damage plus 20% could be interesting. Not going to lie, I wouldn't mind recommending uh, that one for this kind of build. How much of this have we got? 23 million, but I only got six, oh, seven million. Oh, it's, this is terrible. We're not going to have enough gold. <laughs> Nowhere near enough gold. Dang it. Um, oh, no gems, no gold. It's it's a terrible, terrible day. Uh, I feel like we could grab this though. Woo, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Should we see what random one we got? Oh, I'd laugh if it was the shanks. Blackbeard, love it. Old mate Blackbeard has been begging me to build him. Um, so that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. All right, so Shanks, we managed to get you up there. I might reset. I actually might reset and go into a different one. Where is this summons? Oh, I've got eight of these things. Would you look at that? Let's, uh, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky. I doubt it. <laughs> I really doubt it absolutely the i did not think it was uh possible but we are kind of close to getting this selection chest so if we're going to do that uh, i'm going with ghost shield but romantic one is probably the better one where is it yeah romantic there you go we'll throw that in there just in just in case we ever get one in the future however i feel like we should definitely uh test out impul down let's see whether or not we can clear with daddy shanks um do I want you in slot one? The answer to that question is no. I want straw hat in there. Let's throw you there. No, come back. Got the right ones. All right, let's see. Let us see if we can actually clear this one. Um, yeah, physical definitely, definitely want to, you, you definitely want as many follow-up chances for shanks as possible um obviously his crit would have gone up a little bit so he's got like 30 percent chance to crit on his attacks i feel like uh <laughs> a wise man would probably just switch the um the god skill so that he has 40 percent chance crit right i kind of feel like that might be a good idea oh look at that look at the crits imagine if you did that every time you crit you got an extra additional attack i just don't feel like that would be very much damage from a normal attack not gonna lie um I think I'm I'm happy with the setup at the moment. Oh, Lucy, I love your fingers, sir. <laughs> yes, I just said that. He is like underrated, absolutely underrated. If you get him early game, you're free to play player, build him. He does a lot of damage. And then you can feed him off to uh, Lady uh, Granny. <laughs> uh, all right. Happy days. One thing I will say about oh luffy he's a uh, really tanky he's really tanky <laughs> he really really is um and if you build him with the bleed ability and freeze hockey he will heal himself a lot per attack um kind of very sustainable oh daddy shanks come on I will attribute to his survivability, though, uh, with our lovely goldfish lady. She does stack her defense buffs on him. 
Um, and his heal effect, of course, is increased every time he heals because of her ability to affect the incoming healings to him. He actually gets more healings. So, oh, not a bad synergy. I'm not saying it's a great team. Not going to lie. It's, I, I, would, I would have done things a lot differently. And thus far, I have on my other account that I'm wailing on. Um, VIP 9, nearly VIP 10 on that other account. Oh, and then he gets resurrected. Gotta love that. That that was an easy clear. Compared to all the other times, that was an easy clear. Um, Shanks actually took a bit of a beating, but so did Old Mate over here. As you can see, though, the kills definitely Odahime. Blackbeard uh, adding a little bit of support layers in the back. I would absolutely love to regress uh, Old Mate Usopp and use him for food for uh, Luffy and um, obviously Odahime. Try and get them to E1 as well. I don't know who I replace him with. Probably going to be... Oh, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I feel like I want to replace him with a Marine. I just don't know who yet. No, you know what? It's probably going to be uh, Yamato. Probably going to be Yamato. All right, we didn't skip there. And it wouldn't be a good video if we didn't at least try to get some random random conversion heroes. I would not suggest wasting uh, any of this, but you know, like, let's be honest. If you pull them off, you pull them off, right? I need, uh, where's that Dragon Girl? I need Dragon Girl. Do I even have any copies of Dragon Girl? Damn it. I probably don't even have any copies of her. I have one copy of her. All right, I would love to build her for this team. Um, just for shits and giggles, obviously. <laughs> Do it if you can. It's not the wisest decision, though. Uh, so we're going to try and swap... Sanji. No, this one. Let's see if we can get her. Actually, you know, I, I definitely swap for Frankie. Let's see if I can get... Ooh, challenge accepted. Cancel. Don't really want Grand Line. No, definitely not Wiper. Get out of here. Come on. I know the percentage rates for swaps are pretty low. Oh my goodness. No. Come on. Give me a give me a plus. I'll take Grand Line Zoro. If I ever build a bleed team, it would definitely be Grand Line Zoro. I feel like I have enough Usopp. Yeah. Let's just see if we get anything good here. Oh, <laughs> got another Usopp. I said I have enough of you. Get out of here. All right, let's last but not least. Vivi. Yeah, why not? Zoro's food hero anyway. Ah, uh, no joy there. If you liked the video thus far, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button. Um, jump into the links in the field below for the Discord. The official Discord is, um, it's growing. It's definitely growing. I'll uh, add some links there as well. All the codes are in the description field below for those that are new players. Um, obviously, let us know who you decided to go with in terms of your uh, god tier artistry. If you... Um, curious about anything of course reach out and uh, we can try and answer you there uh, i'm trying to add myself to the official facebook forum area for those that are interested with some of the guys tips and tricks there um hopefully i'll be able to do it this week so if you do see me on the official facebook for the game make sure you add me there and interact with the posts did we get anything cool oh we got some hats that's cool that's kind of cool all right i think we'll leave it there but thank you so much for watching until next time